man little bros checking out the the new first gen got old red here that we might or might not be dropping off for paint and bodywork too here it looks really good in the right lighting but we got some rust on the other side on the body and stuff but um first gen we're going to be doing our first little upgrade it's a beautiful evening nice and cool right now but tomorrow it's going to be about 100 so that's why i'm coming out to do this video now I got about 45 minutes of daylight. The last 45 minutes is usually the best around here. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. First, want to say, if you are stopping in for the first time, we are doing a 12-valve giveaway. Link in description or go to the website. I will leave right here, team-lmp.myshopify.com. And every $20 you spend on some cool, cool merchandise gets you entered one entry closer to winning either a five-speed or an automatic. 12 I'll both have the same mileage 205,000 miles beautiful beautiful trucks in pristine pristine condition so um, go back and check out some of the videos if you want to see those trucks but we're, we're gonna be working on this truck today in yesterday's video I kind of told you that um, the new goal for this truck is probably gonna be to probably you know just build it and most people are agreeing with that statement to uh, just go go with a build on this truck first thing we're gonna do today I don't know obviously you guys we haven't really got much drive time in it two days worth um, but it, it's good. It runs really rich. It runs good. The only thing I'd want to do differently is some fuel mods and some upgrades like that. We're going to probably do eventually some injectors, governor springs, stuff like that. Um, you know, to what the truck can handle. And then if we need to make some more modifications to it from that point on, that's what we're going to do. But today we're going to be doing a fuel pin. And a subscriber sent me this a long time ago for our other first gen, which is sitting pretty back there in the barnyard. That one's got 85,000 miles. This one has clocked out at 789, 789,000, and it hasn't been working for a long time. So we don't know if it's got, you know, close to a million. We don't know if it's not even the right odometer for this thing, and it's a different trucks, and it has a lot less. Like, we don't know. But um, there are some tin, like, new gaskets you can see around the block and stuff in a few places where it looks like it could have been overhauled or something. But I really couldn't say. I don't know enough on the truck to know for sure. But... Anyway, so we got a fuel pin here, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the, the factory one. There's a brand new VE pump in this truck. At least it looks brand new, so um, all you should need is a flathead. I might need a T-handle style or this impact just to tap the trigger just to break the screws loose. 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, and then the pen, preferably use a Sharpie, but this is going to be to mark a piece of metal um, to know the direction that we want our diaphragm and pin to face in the truck. So we're gonna get to popping the hood right now and then maybe when we're done, we're gonna take it for a little rip. How do you like it in there? Looking good? Mm -hmm. Old school? Really old school? Yeah, I've got some, I've got some things up my sleeve for this thing. This old, this old girl. So here's the VE pump right here. And uh, so what we're going to do is you're going to pop these four screws out right here. The truck's been sitting for several hours now, so nothing in here should be too hot. You're going to pop these four screws out. You're going to take this banjo bolt out of the side there. And the AFC, like a cap, I guess you could say, would will just come right off. And then that'll make everything else accessible. We're going to get to that right now. So here's our factory fuel pin. Oh, Going to do some deletes here too, why not, right? Yeah, new front belt assembly. <laughs> it looks like they must have put a new timing cover on it because it looks freaking brand new too. This thing looks like it has freaking new engine mounting brackets. This thing could have been overhauled to put back in, honestly. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I just took this red rag and for a couple minutes I just cleaned off this fuel pin. Now what we're going to do with this fuel pin, and of course I got this advice from other people, you're going to take this, you're going to take your little plastic washer thing of course and you're going to put that back on, I think, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, don't quote me on everything. Okay so I took a pen and it's not the most effective thing but I made a line on the top just so I can see to uh, be able to line up the front of my pen. This, you know, divoted side out like like this, a notched outside. I want it pointing directly to the front of the block. 
so that line is going to help me line it up. Show him everything that came out of He's like, oh, we just found butt wipes. No, but they were like, all this stuff was just like stored down in there, like in these little, like, I don't know, in, like in these wheel wells, just like stuff, crap stuff down in there. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to put a cold air intake on this freaking really soon. But um, yeah, truck's all done with what we're going to do today. Now, they say that's supposed to increase the horsepower by 40 horses. Don't quote me on it, that's just what I was told by pretty much everybody that said they've done one and the people on YouTube and other videos that say they install them. Yeah, oh, this can increase at 40 horsepower. So, if it really does, don't know, don't really care that much. Just, this is what they say. Got to take it for a little rip before it gets too dark. Oh, just a second. I'm gonna start it up, so don't close it yet. Oh, we still got a little bit of light trying to hurry and get a video here. like an old tracker. It really just sounds like a 4327. You know what's funny is this truck, before I just did this, it didn't roll any coal. And it doesn't really roll a lot right now, which is fine with me. When you do more fuel mods, it just kind of will happen over time a little bit more, but it does a little puff now, just a little bit. It also has a huge muffler in it too. So once we get that out and we put a different exhaust system on it, which I'm excited for, and that's gonna be up in a couple videos here. Um, it's gonna be awesome, but we're gonna get up to a special stop sign where it's like super quiet, not a lot of people around ever. Um, it's just it's just like a perfect setting to do like a quick tire spin out or burn out. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over there and spin out the tires, and you guys know from the other time that we did that a couple videos back, there was no smoke and whatever. And I'm just gonna do it for fun, and also because I, you guys aren't gonna be able to feel it, but I'm gonna be able to feel the, like the little bit the little bit of power difference when doing that so we're gonna get over to our spot and get that going does she move or what oh, did you, yeah. dude this thing is a drifter that's what i want to make this into like just a street truck that you can just slide around corners and just have a freaking good old time in this thing we've got a perfect spot to drift we're actually pulling right up towards our house it's like perfect it's kind of like uphill a little bit but it's just like, so your your rear tires have to fight it. A deer just crossed the road up here. But it's like perfect, perfect, perfect. But we're gonna get up here and um, do a little tire burning. I don't know how crazy it's gonna be, but we're gonna burn some tires. Oh yeah, there's deer right there. Mm -hmm. Into the field. Which means there could be more, so I gotta watch out. But... This thing sets you back now, dude. You know what? I'm always surprised by how with these trucks, you can take and do almost free, not, I mean, this one was supplied by a subscriber, so thank you so much, man. You know who you are. Um, all I remember is your Instagram name. I don't really recall, you know, your official name, but um, he sent me this, so I don't know what it cost him, but thank you so much, man. But I'm always surprised at how little you can do in terms of little screws and bolts and parts on these trucks. They get like a big noticeable power difference. It runs, it does run a lot different. And not only does it just smoke a little bit, well, it smokes tires better, it, it does roast tires really cool. Like, it, I mean, you don't need a lot, of a lot of power to roast tires on a truck with a bed on it. Obviously, it's empty, it's really lightweight. It's so much fun. It's just so, so fun to drive. Super pumped about this. Well, the lighting isn't ideal. In fact, it's a little bit dark, but there might be enough to end out this video. Is it light enough? Is it light enough? It keeps focusing on thighs. Okay, there's the lighting. I'm so excited for this track. I've already got a build list written down and everything. You guys saw the video from the other day. And um, 
previously, like when, you know, way back in the day, when I made a build list, it was kind of like a build list that I was kind of like, okay, over the next like four months, maybe we'll be able to get it done. But this, this truck, I think is going to go along pretty freaking quick. And uh, I think we're going to get a move on it. So when it comes to wheels, tires, exhaust stuff, um, like exhaust stuff and just horsepower stuff like that stuff's just gonna get it's gonna get freaking done soon i'm probably gonna wait a little bit until i get this giveaway mostly down and under like like out, off my plate i guess before i pick up another build because when the dually gets back that's where i gotta focus all my attention so it's ready for the winter if they if you know if they choose that truck um but other than that man it's gonna be when as soon as this giveaway's over i'm just gonna try to freaking build the snot out of this thing and then also i'm still trying to buy an obs ford so um just so everybody knows like buying this truck is it's just a toy it's just like a little bonus like a little bonus content truck it's not like oh no he's not buying an obs anymore because he bought a freaking three thousand dollar you know non-intercooled first gen like that's not that's not why i bought this truck this truck is literally sheerly just for bonus content because it was so cheap and I couldn't pass it up. But yeah, I'm still I'm still gonna try to get an OBS hopefully in this July, um, and then the build for that totally depends on the truck. What we do with it totally depends on the truck. A lot of trucks are gonna be coming this year, a lot of stuff, and this this truck's gonna be transformed really quick. The dually, what do you think? The dually's gonna look crazy when we get it back oh, and when yeah. I build it. The tires, all new headlights, it's not cab lights. Look like the same truck. It's yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to look crazy, crazy different. So anyways, guys, send me down in the comments below all the horsepower mods you would recommend for this truck to be able to still run off of pretty much the stock fuel system. Like, what's the maximum I can go and maximum I can push running on the stock fuel system in terms of horsepower parts and turbo upgrades, stuff like that? Um, I'm thinking HX35 is probably the biggest turbo I'm going to need on this truck. I think it would complement it very well for what I'm going to do. with a Real quick glimpse of one of the giveaway trucks. That's the black giveaway truck, and uh, yeah. It is, if I'll get it to focus, right, uh, not quite, it won't focus, but that truck is beautiful, 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 okay? Very, very, very clean, good looking truck. And the other one is a five-speed dually that's getting painted metallic silver, all restored. It's, it's going to be a jaw dropper when you see it next. It's going to be beautiful. Um, and, and still a lot of new stuff going on in that truck. The whole week I get it back, it's going to be insanely a lot of work but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed that video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below don't forget to enter the giveaway subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace